part 2 the happy prince now when the swallow bird came at the feet of the happy prince uh the happy she found that happy prince was weeping and then dini allots him some work he tells her to go to the house of her seamstress and uh, take his ruby there because she was very poor now see what the swallow replies i am waited for in egypt said the swallow my friends are flying up and down the nile and talking to the large lotus flowers soon they will go to sleep so swallow says that her friends they are flying up and down the nile nile is river nile and they are talking to the large lotus flowers and then they will soon go to sleep the happy prince asked the swallow to stay with him for one night and be his messenger the boy is so thirsty and mother so sad he said i don't think i like boys answered the swallow i want to go to egypt but the happy prince looked so sad that the little swallow was sorry it is very cold here he said but he agreed to stay with him for one night and be his messenger now swallow naturally she said that it was very cold over there at that place and she that's why she wanted to go to egypt so she agreed for one night thank you little swallow said the prince the swallow picked out the great ruby from the prince sword and flew away with it in his beak over the roofs of the town he passed by the cathedral tower where the white marble angels were sculptured and he passed from the cathedral cathedral is church tower where the white marble angels were sculptured carved he passed by the palace and heard the sound of the dancing a beautiful girl came out on the balcony with a lover i hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball state ball means state dance she said i have ordered flowers to be embroidered on it but the seam stresses are so lazy and then she hears that a beautiful girl was talking to her lover he passed over the river and saw the lanterns hanging on the masts of the ship and then when he was uh, passing over the river he saw the lanterns uh, lanterns are a kind of lamp actually they were hung and then they gave the light they were hanging on the poles of the ship at last he came to the poor woman's house and looked in the boy was tossing feverishly on his bed the boy was tossing tossing means changing the sides feverishly because he was having fever and the mother had fallen asleep she was so tired in he hopped and laid the great ruby on the table beside the woman's thimble thimble is cap for the finger the one who stitches and the doing a do embroidery they wear a cap metal cap so that the uh, fingers are not pierced then he flew gently round the bed fanning the boy's forehead with his wings how cool i feel said the boy i must be getting better and he sank into a delicious slumber and when he get a cool air from the wings of a swallow he sank into the delicious a delicious here means a good a sweet slumber slumber means sleep then the swallow flew back to the happy prince and told him what he had done it is curious he remarked but i feel quite warm now although it is so cold and the happy prince says that it is so curious it is so strange and then she says the swallow says that she feels very quiet very warm that is because you have done a good action said the happy prince and the little swallow began to think and then fell asleep thinking always made him sleepy and now the prince told her told him that he has done some good action and then she began to sleep when the day broke he flew down to the river and had a bath tonight i go to egypt said the swallow and he was in high spirits at the prospect high spirits means he was having good energy at this prospect at this hope that after all she is going to egypt to meet his friends he visited all the monuments and sat a long time on top of the church steeple and then in the day time he visited all the monuments over there and then he came and sat on the top of the church steeple steeple is top of the church tower okay to so tower hota hai church ka uske upar baith gaya when the moon rose he flew back to the happy prince have you any commission for egypt he cried i am just starting so the swallow says that uh, he asked the happy prince if he had any business for egypt then she says uh, he is going to egypt swallow swallow my little swallow said the prince will you stay with me one night longer 
I am waited for in Egypt, answered the swallow. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, said the prince. Far away across the city, I see a young man in a garret. Garret is a room on a roof, chota sa roof, small room on the roof. He is leaning over a desk covered with papers. Leaning means he is bending over the desk which is covered with all the papers. And in the glass by his side, there is a bunch of withered violets. There are the bunch of dried, withered means dried flowers. His hair is brown and crispy. Crisp is curly. And his lips are red as pomegranate. And he has large and dreamy eyes. He is trying to finish a play for the director of the theatre. But he is too cold to write any more. There is no fire in the grate. Grate is the fireplace. You know the big, big houses and the cities which are very, countries which are very cold. The people, they have the fireplaces in the rooms so that they can become warm. So he says that there is no fire in his fireplace also. And hunger has made him faint. He has to finish such a big play. He has become cold. There is no fire in his house. And moreover, because of hunger, he has become faint, weak. I will wait with you one night longer, said the swallow, who really had a good heart. He asked if he should take another ruby to the young playwright. Alas, I have no ruby now, said the prince. My eyes are all that I have left. They are made of rare sapphires. So the prince tells his story that now he doesn't have any ruby and he has only sapphires. Rare sapphires, precious stone sapphires, which were... Brought out of India a thousand years ago. So he says that they were so precious that they were brought from India. He ordered the swallow to pluck out one of them and take it to the playwright. Playwright is a writer of drama. He will sell it to the wood jeweler and buy firewood and finish his play, he said. Dear prince, said the swallow, I cannot do that. And he began to weep. So the swallow, she felt very pity. He said that he, she, he cannot take out the sapphire from his eyes, then the prince will become blind. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, said the prince. Do as I command you. Do as I order you. So the swallow plucked out the prince's eye and flew away to the young man's garret. It was easy enough to get in as there was a hole in the roof. Now going to his room was very easy because there was some hole there in his roof. Through this he darted and came into the room. A darted means went direct very quickly, very fast, he came and entered the room. The young man had his head buried in his hands. And so he did not hear the flutter of the bird's wings. Now his head was buried in his hands. So he could not hear the flutter, movement of the bird's wings. And when he looked up, he found the beautiful sapphire lying on the withered violets. And when he woke up, he looked up, he saw that there is a beautiful rare stone kept on the dried flowers. This is all in this video. Thank you.